Hi, my name is Carrie Myler. I'm the lead author of System Center Operations Manager 2007 R2 Unleashed, which is published by SAMS. I would like to tell you a little bit about the book. I became interested in operations management as a Windows system administrator. Anytime there was a problem, I'd open the event viewer. Of course, the more computers to manage, the more event viewers, and the more challenging it became to tie all those pieces together in a distributed environment, particularly since so much information is captured in the event viewer. When Microsoft acquired the technology license to Mission Critical Software Operations Manager from NetIQ back in 2000, it was like, wow! Microsoft is going to give us a way to manage and monitor its systems and applications. I proceeded to immerse myself in MOM 2000 and later to MOM 2005. Then in 2007, Microsoft released Operations Manager 2007. Now this was a total rewrite of the mission critical software product and that followed that with an R2 update in 2009. Now, one of the challenges in a product like Operations Manager is determining what to do after running that setup program. I mean, there are a lot of events captured in the event logs. Which ones are important? Which ones should we care about? With the MOM and Operations Manager products, Microsoft helps you to sift through that. However, you still have to determine if a particular event is significant for your own organization. So really, that's what got me involved in writing books about this. I wanted to help others sift through the tremendous amount of information that is captured. Since 2005, I have been the lead author for three books on the topic. Microsoft Operations Manager 2005 Unleashed, System Center Operations Manager 2007 Unleashed, and most recently, System Center Operations Manager 2007 R2 Unleashed. This is a supplement to that previous book on Operations Manager. The R2 book was released in April 2010. This most recent book takes up where the earlier one left off. It highlights the enhancements to the product in SP1 and R2. This includes things as, such as cross-platform monitoring, running Operations Manager on Windows 2008 and SQL 2008 platforms, all the other enhancements to the product. We also enlisted the assistance of a number of subject matter experts on topics such as PowerShell and the Ops Manager shell, high availability and business continuity, management pack authoring, targeting, and advanced ACS capabilities. All that in 528 pages. I really hope you like the book and that it helps to enhance your use of Ops Manager 2007.